I'm Travis with Subsurface Solutions and have you ever had the need to locate a utility line out and get GPS on it? But the GPS inside the 8100 is not quite accurate enough. This one inside the 8100 will get you down to about 3 meters, maybe a meter accurate at best. Uh, but when we're trying to uh, map out new lines, we want to make sure it's as accurate as possible. And GPS is a great option. And what we did here is put a package, a GPS package together that gets you down under a foot accurate. And so as you're locating with the 8100 receiver, you'll be collecting GPS points with the geode by Juniper Systems. And this guy here gets you under a foot accurate and it's under under two thousand dollars so we package that together with the point man application that runs on an android device so any tablet can run it or even your phone can run this and then as we're locating it uh, by using the survey cert button on the 8100 it will easily transfer the locate data up into the point man app and take a point from the gps at the same time so everything's nice and convenient you don't have to be touching the screen all the time it's just nice to watch the screen and be able to see where those points points are being displayed on the map and make sure that they're accurate. So we're going to start a new line here. I'm just going to go up and, and push new for a new line and you can see all my different options. I can do an oil line, a gas line, a telecom line, uh, but I'm just going to do a gas line. But you do have other options on here as well for uh, doing irrigation or if you just want to do one call tickets with this software, you, you certainly can. And so I'm going to select gas. I'm going to select pipeline. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. It asks me how high my GPS is off the ground and I'm going to put two meters because that's how long this pole is and go ahead and hit close. And so I'm going to go ahead and start a new line here and I am going to locate it first and I'm basically right over it right now and it's given me a depth reading of three foot nine inches deep and I just took my first reading here and it put one on the screen. I'm just going to go a little ways here and take a second reading so you can kind of see how it draws it out. Okay, so we've gone a little ways, and I'm going to go ahead and take another reading here, and I'm just making sure my GPS antenna is directly over the path of the utility at the same time. But you can see up on the top right hand of the screen uh, that it is giving me a um, accuracy rating, and that's the accuracy of the GPS receiver. It's 0.23 meters, which is basically under a foot accurate. And then it's giving me my depth in meters, but it's giving me a 0.8382 meter on my depth reading. And my depth here is two foot nine. And so uh, it's just, everything is saved in metric on this system, uh, but it is the same. So it's underneath that I'm getting a current readout and it's also showing me what frequency I'm using, which is eight kilohertz. So I'll just go ahead and collect another couple of readings here to show you how this works. And if your point, if your line never deviates from its path, if it stays straight, all you have to do is take two points for every property. You don't have to take a point every 50 foot. You just need to take it every time that line turns. And so this one's running pretty straight here. As you can see, it's just mapping it out as we go along. And you can get into a system where you move right along pretty quick with this. But Anybody with an RD8000 or 8100 series locator can use this system. Like I said, it's about $2,000, $2,100 for everything. And $295 of that is the subscription service for, for um, the Point Man. But Point Man, after we're done with the line, will easily upload this. And so I'm just going to go ahead and, and close this and hit save. Um, and then it brings it up on the screen there. Now I can go ahead and hit send. And you can select, if you did multiple lines, you can select all the different lines that you've done. And then it will put them into a nice file, a KMZ file, which you can open into Google Earth. And if you did any one call tickets or did any photos, it will have those on there as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. After it builds all those attachments, it will ask me, how do I wanna send it? Do I wanna put it on my Google Drive? Do I want to uh, 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 send it on an email um, or just Bluetooth it over to something else? And so very easily we can send this to ourselves or just put it on that Google Drive. And uh, um, real simple option. So if you have any other questions or want a demonstration on this product, feel free to give us a holler. Thank you.